Ugh. Calves are cramping bad. Okay, night before the half marathon, I'm cooking my last dinner. Well, not my last dinner, golly. How serious is this? I'm cooking my dinner before my half marathon run. I'm eating salmon, baked potato, and brown rice. I feel like I should have a green, but I'm worried about eating too much fiber. I'm trying to limit my fiber intake. I'm even not even taking fiber supplements the last two days. A uh, little sad news for me, I was invited to a catered cookout. It was gonna be barbecue from one of the best barbecue joints in town. Free keg of beer, free barbecue, good people, and I had to say no. Dinner the night before the half marathon and a movie. Out. The next day. 4.53, three hours before the race. And this is my breakfast. Bagel with peanut butter and cut up banana. Okay, we are officially less than 30 minutes away from the run. I'm definitely anxious, but I'm pretty excited to get this over with. I hate to say get over with, but man, this is, it's been a, training for a long run like this is legit. And I am super excited to see where I'm at. I hope everything goes as planned. The weather is nice. It's a little foggy. It's gonna be cool, but it's real humid. I set a goal in my first episode of 2.10, two hours and 10 minutes. That's not gonna be achievable, so I'm hoping to get done under two and a half hours. That's my goal. But just to finish is the main goal. I am late. It is time to go. I am super nervous, and it's way wetter than I thought it was gonna be. I wish I would've, well, I don't know if I wish anything. I just, I wish it wasn't wet. 41, and I still get nervous about nothing really all right i'll check in every once in a while i'm gonna try to check in every two miles hopefully that'll make about six or seven check-ins hopefully not none of them are in the ambulance <laughs> all right i'm gonna try to calm my nerves i am 14 minutes away from starting so i'm pretty late here we go <laughs> I wanted to say one last thing. When I started this training for this half marathon, it was just for me. But in this last three months, my mom has found out she had cancer. And where I'm fixing to start this race at is one of the places she had to visit. So this race has taken on a little more than I thought it was going to. And when I say race, it's just a run for me. But I want to say, Mom, this race is for you. I love you with all my heart. Let's go do this. One mile, 1033 pace. And they stopped the traffic boys. Thanks, sir. What's up, guys? That dude is fast. Two and three quarter miles, he already took past me. Almost three miles in, about a 10 and a half minute pace. That's about what I'm going for. If I finish at 11 and a half, I'll call it good. We'll see though, long way to go. Roll it up, take a hit, feeling lit, feeling right. 2 a.m. summer night, I don't care, hand on the wheel, driving drunk, I'm doing my thing. Rolling the mid beside and now, living my life, getting out dreams. People told me slow my. What's up, y'all? Hey, how are you? All right. Y'all got any beer? Really? I, I think. Tell, is your, tell me your name. Eric Sullivan? Yes, exactly what I said. Yeah. Maylee Matney. Oh, Maylie. yeah, I remember you. Yeah, How are you? We went to middle school together. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. I'll be fine once I get it. I'll be good. I'm on the pursuit of happiness, and I know everything that's shining always gonna be.
We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. At eight miles in, 11 minute pace average. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm so glad to see y'all. Not and a half miles in, 11, 12 pace. I'll be lucky to get there in 12 minute average pace. At this point, I don't care. I just want to finish. I'm dying. I'm officially in uncharted territory, over 10 miles. Right foot's starting to hurt. You're doing a little cramps, but I'm making it. I'm dying now. All right, I'm a, a little bit over 11 miles in. My average pace is 11.36. I'm having to walk a lot. I'm exhausted. And my left knee's hurting me a little, and my right foot. I don't know. I'm just not used to running this far. I mean, I'm fine. I'm not injured. It's just, it's bothering me, though. I got two more miles. I'm gonna run as much as I can. A lot of lessons learned on this run. If they know what lesson is, my running career might be over. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know how people run 26 miles. All right, I'm gonna try to finish strong. These last two miles are for you, Mom. Calves are cramping bad. <laughs> Step it up. That's wet. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for coming. Good job. Oh, hell, I'll just hug you. You might have to hold me up. <laughs> oh, my uh, gosh. You've been pretty good time because we just got here like 10 minutes ago. I thought you'd be longer than that. Oh, my goodness. Was that hard? Other than marriage, that's the hardest thing I've ever done. It was worth it. And I got a cool surprise at the end. My mom and dad were at the finish line. That was really a cool moment. I wish I could have extended more gratitude, but I was so worn out. But it was really cool to see them there, and I appreciate it so much. A lot of lessons learned at this race. Right now, I'm going to go eat, drink, and see if I can maybe get a nap in. My body is super tight, especially my calves. I have a little pain in my right foot and left knee. But hopefully, that will work itself out. Nowhere close to the pace that I thought I'd run either. John, you're right. Don't set a time, just get it done. That's exactly what I should have done. I went out a little too fast, paid for it in the end, and then I wasn't real good about nutrition throughout the run, and I think that's why I'm having all the cramps. All in all though, it was a W, I finished. Now let's go put some crap in my body and a bunch of Gatorade. Yeah, I swear I 